A New Year's Message from Archangel Michael Editor's Note The New Year is certainly getting off to an interesting start. One suspects there are many surprises yet in store. One of our long-time gifted receivers of messages from the higher realms was given the following communication in a brief and sudden burst of activity that hardly allowed for the reaching for the nearest pad of paper and pencil, much less walking to the more familiar computer keyboard for such a transcribing. The speed with which this message came through was surpassed only by the sense of urgency, that it be shared as soon as possible. After a few readings, you'll probably sense that much is between the lines herein. With the magazine production schedule as forward as it must necessarily be for practical reasons, this issue of the spectrum is the earliest in which this message could be shared. However, those of you with access to the internet might want to begin to get into the habit of regularly monitoring our www.thespectrumnews.org website for the speedier posting of timely similar messages, a likely occurrence as this year of spiritual battle progresses. But rest assured, all of you readers without computer access, that all such important messages from the higher realms will most certainly also be shared within these pages. Your notes of appreciation for this feature of the spectrum are among the most eloquent compliments we receive on a regular basis. Archangel Michael The 31st of December, 2002, 9.19 p.m. I am Michael, known to some as Archangel and to others as Saint, or Lord. I am, however, Defender of truth and of the throne of God. I serve Holy God of Light, as warrior in his heavenly army, and do battle with all forces, energies, and all entities of darkness. I also stand ready, along with many, many others from the lighted realms whose energies likewise blend in this message, to assist and serve mankind in your battle against the forces of darkness. As we draw to a close yet another year on the calendar, we do so with hearts full of praise, gratefulness, and many questions yet unanswered. But above all, may we leave this present year, with all its ills, troubles, and fears, far behind us. Let us therefore enter a time of new beginnings in our spirits and minds and bodies. May we find our place of peace, joy, and everlasting faith and hope as we step across the threshold of the new year. It is a sacred time, a time of reflection upon the past, a time to use that which we have learned, as wisdom, to enter the new age, upon whose doorstep we now stand. We each must choose what we shall take with us from this present life, across the doorstep, into that which is but hours away. The year 2003 promises to be a year of oppositions, the great spiritual battle between the forces of light and forces of darkness. Every man, woman, and child who has reached the age of reason will be required, not asked, but required, to speak their allegiance to one force or the other. Those who have been sitting upon the fence will be knocked off, as they are required to make their choice. When faced with adversity, you must remember that it comes not from light or God, but from the darkness, those who are adversarial to God and wage warfare against him by using mankind as pawns. But, we who have faith and undying belief and patronage to God have been given dominion and extreme authority over any, and all such dark, adversarial forces. These dark forces, or energies, have extremely low vibrational frequencies, and deal only in destruction, illness, death, fear, and anxiety. See that you are not tempted by these forces of evil, by keeping yourselves faithful servants and vessels of the Most High Holy God of pure radiant white light. Be not troubled by the news of world events. Rather, spend your time in meditation, prayer, and service unto God. Be not tempted by the world, for it is in the world that these dark forces operate. See yourselves, rather, 
as citizens of God's heavenly kingdom, and live your lives accordingly. Be not tempted by money, nor by that which money can buy. Instead, know that, with God, all needs and desires are already fulfilled, and it is up to each of us, through our devotion, our faith, and our daily actions and words, to bring these things into the physical world. Remember to be grateful for all blessings, whether large or small, and give thanks to God daily for all these. With constant prayer, faith, and ultimate love for God and all his creation, you shall have no need to resist the attacks of evil, for you will stand as a beacon of light too great for the forces of darkness to even approach. Call upon God and his holy angels, the heavenly host, to assist you and guide you in all that you do. There is no force of darkness which shall not be defeated by God's holy army. Fill your lives with love and gratitude, and wisdom will make itself manifest. Know that all needs, not wants, are already met. They already exist in the heavenly realm, and are awaiting your heartfelt request to be made manifest in your physical realm. Nothing is impossible if you believe within your heart, your mind, and your spirit that God's love and grace are more than sufficient. Now go forth in the new year with joy, with love, with the knowledge that God waits upon your call and your request. He waits upon your love, your devotion, and your prayers of gratitude to bless you in every way possible. Leave behind all fear, all doubt, and all anger, all confusion, all hatred, all greed, and all lusts of the flesh. Step across the threshold into the new age, the new world, into the kingdom of God, which already exists and awaits you. Source the Spectrum, News Review, February 2003 Issue, Volume 4, Number 8, Page 31. Editor's Note, to all my listeners and viewers, please check out the description section of this video for the above source, reference links and further comments. From there you will also have access to the banned Phoenix journals by the US government along with the starting set of Phoenix journals, as recommended by Commander Hatton to read first. The journals help unravel and clarify the many lies, tamperings and misconceptions foisted upon the masses. By those who seek to control the thoughts, perceptions and actions of others from generation to generation especially those of the true Christed life teachings of Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda. For uninformed readers, the new name and title of Sananda is an earned level of utmost respect and achievement for the accomplished and highly revered master teacher, meaning one with God. As a matter of fact, even your mistranslated and tampered with Bibles mentions that he would have a new name upon his return. The Phoenix Journals are the word of truth given forth to mankind from the higher realms of light, during this most critical transition time upon Earth's evolution to a higher dimension. Please like, share and subscribe to help support my YouTube channel, and as always have a wonderful day. In love and light. Thank you.